In this video, I want to quickly go over a recent security data breach that I stumbled across. Pardon the background noise. Alright, so I wrote about this, I just posted about this both on my uh, DigitySec blog and also on my Medium profile, so you can check it out. But I'm actually going to try to get through these uh, details in this video, so it's not going to be a long video. So as I'm saying here, uh, as I was working for an assignment on a target, so this was sort of like a paid uh, assignment, on a bounty target, I stumbled across uh, uh, multiple databases and storage units that uh, displayed a lot of uh, user sensitive information, as you can see in this case. And I'm gonna explain this uh, a little bit uh, down in the video. I was actually working on a target and while doing my recon, I was, um, I actually found this uh, in the, found a couple of these uh, storage units, if I can put it that way. I found, the, I found them in the output of one of my uh, recon tactics. And I had to decide whether or not I should just uh, mind my own business and keep on with my assignment and completely ignore uh, all the user sensitive information that was out there, or uh, if I should just uh, track down uh, or get more details about each of these uh, breaches or sensitive data exposures and actually try to contact the right people to get to the bottom of the issues. So uh, I, actually, I actually went that road. I just uh, paused my assignment and for the next six to eight hours, basically for the remainder of the day, I looked further deep into each of the breaches and then uh, contacted what I thought to be the appropriate people behind them. Let's actually look just a bit into a bit more detail into this one. So this was actually an administrative panel which was completely unprotected and this was uh, tied to a mobile application with more than 50,000 downloads on the Play Store and I'm not sure how many of them, so on the Android Play Store, I'm not sure how many it had on uh, the Apple Store, but these contained uh, a lot of, so this administrative panel, which was completely unprotected, contained a lot of information, a lot of user information. As you can see here, we have first name, last name, email address, we have transactional information, we have information about users, we have actions, we have meters, you get the idea there's a lot of unprotected sensitive information out there. And we also have analytics. And like I said uh, in the blog post, I wonder what the actual person who coded that uh, administrative panel, what he was, uh, or what she was, or what they were thinking when actually leaving such an important asset unprotected. Like I said, this was tied to a mobile application which I didn't get deeper into because uh, I'm pretty sure it uh, <laughs> there were probably a lot of flaws in the mobile application itself, but um, I didn't actually do it. I didn't actually look into more details into it because of time constraints. So I just uh, left it there. Now, bottom line is that uh, if you're a security researcher or a bug bounty hunter, you should actually do your job and do the right thing if you stumble across this, uh, these types of findings. Uh, if you want to get into this or uh, if you want to get money from this, you should look into platforms where you can leverage uh, your skills ethically and responsibly. So you can look into bug bounty platforms or you can also look for external bounty programs, uh, external bug bounty programs yourself via search engines. Level up your skills in bug bounty hunting and penetration testing with my course Recon in Cybersecurity and master the fascinating world of reconnaissance. Link below.